Hey guys, on today's video, I'm going to teach you how to back up your iPhone, iPad, up touch to your computer using iTunes. Now, iTunes is a free app that you guys can download for your both Mac and PC. Okay, if you guys have a Windows computer, iTunes is available. All right. So right here on iTunes, once you open it up, you guys will see right here an icon. That icon is for your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, okay? So these are the same instructions, whatever you guys have. So hook it up to your computer. Make sure to use your USB cable to hook it up to your computer. Once you guys do that, you guys should see this. Now click on it. Once you guys click on there, you guys should see your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, okay? And from here, we can back it up. Now, you guys will have to pick the second option. If you guys have iCloud from before, just pick the second option down here where it says this computer. And then you guys can just put back up now. Okay, so it's gonna back up your entire iPhone, iPad, or touch information right here on iTunes. And you guys don't have to worry about that five gig iCloud thing. Now, five gigs may sound like a lot, and as a lot of you have noticed, now it's not even backing up. So we're gonna have to back it up using iTunes right here on your computer. And you guys do not have to worry about those five gigs. You guys have pretty much unlimited gigs. You guys have whatever gigs you guys have in your computer, that's the amount of gigs that you guys can back up. Okay, so that's the good thing, all right? Um, so let's just press back up now. And it's gonna start backing up. So usually this is good to do before there's an update. And right now, as you guys may know, it's the iOS 12 that we have to update. So um, you guys could do that right here from iTunes as well. You guys could make any updates from here. Or you guys can just back it up here and then just do the update over Wi-Fi using directly from your phone, iPad, or up touch. You guys don't have to use iTunes to make that um, update. However, if you're here, might as well just do the update from here. But of course, first back it up and then update, okay? That's just in case something happens. That backup can become really useful because you guys, let's say, get stuck at some point for some reason and you guys don't have to worry about it, you guys can go ahead and just back it up and then restore it, okay? So if it's backed up, you guys can restore and then just load your backup again and you're good to go. You wouldn't have lost your messages or anything like that, okay? Contacts, everything's going to be there. So that's why it's really important to make this backup. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. Um, it's going to take a while for this to actually make the backup right here on my computer. But anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.